Hello everybody, today I want to talk to you about how to configure an administrative user on a Cisco WebEx registered video endpoint. On a prem based or an unconfigured endpoint, there's a default username and password you can use to administer the system. That of course you need to change. Uh, with WebEx, that is actually disabled. To get into the system, you have to go to the control hub and log in from there. In this video, I'll show you how to do that, as well as how to create a user that you can then use without accessing through the Control Hub for future changes. Let's check it out. Log into the Control Hub. You'll be greeted with the welcome screen and the overview uh, statistics. You're going to want to navigate to Devices on the left-hand side. Search for your device. You'll see the device represented in the list. In this case, I have a DX80. I can see the status is currently online and I see that it belongs to the Technology to Die Lab. To bring up the detailed settings, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on this line item. With the device settings open, you can see some additional information about the device. Settings, if it has a line, a, a voice line attached, you can see the IP address, how it's actually connected to the network, so this one via wireless, the MAC address, the SIP URI or SIP address, the serial number, and then what version of software it's running. In this case, stable, room OS, and the version number. Take notice below, there are advanced settings, and this is your device access. Uh, the device access here, uh, there is two options. There's the launch advanced settings, and there's a remote access key. The remote access key would be what you would generate if you are not uh, in a place where you have IP connectivity to the device and needed to use this information or offer this information to someone else. Uh, the launch advanced settings option will actually allow you to cross launch to the device's web administrative page from the control hub itself. So I know that this device is online because I see it's online. Let's go ahead and click this. Uh, I do have IP reachability to its IP address. You can verify that with a, uh, an ICMP ping, uh, or if you recognize the address as part of your reachable space, you can skip right to this step. You do have to confirm. You'll notice that it is in the process of cross-launching. You'll see the URL cloud login. You'll notice then that you'll be dropped to the launch page for the device, the system information page. From here, you can go in to the security settings, users, and you have the ability to create a new user. You'll want to use admin, really use all the settings. We'll just create a user and we'll give it a new password. Take note of the require password change on next sign in and we'll give it a pretty straightforward password. Once you create this user, you then can actually leverage this user to log in. The admin user is kind of an inactive built-in account. The user account that we created can now be used as a way to sign in to the endpoint. Hopefully that's been helpful to get you logged in and start administering your endpoint. From here, I have a couple other videos that will explain some more functionality, how to build things out with macros and how to customize. Uh, be sure to subscribe. We'll definitely have some more stuff like this coming in the future. Uh, thanks for watching. We hope to see you again soon.